Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing the highly anticipated Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Guerrero collaboration. So if you'd like to know what my review is on this pal, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so to start off this video, I just want to say this was not sent to me. I actually purchased this February 26th, that's when Nicole Guerrero on her Snapchat had said that it's available for um, purchase. It was only on the Sephora app though, so that's how I got a hold of it so early. And this palette retails for $40, and um, it wasn't any more expensive if you purchased it earlier. It was just... Um, like I guess a perk or something like that um, as soon as I saw that I hopped on and purchased my own because I knew this would sell out and I'm pretty sure it did uh, but they do have them in stock for today so March 3rd when it launches it they do have some in stock um, so yeah let's go ahead and just get into it and um, review this little baby so um, the packaging it comes like this and then you pull the cover off so this is the cover and then this is the palette they're both like a um, a pink with like little glitter um, like silver and pink glitter into it it's very light you can barely see it um, and it's the same with a little like uh, paper that comes with it and then it says Anastasia Beverly Hills and Nicole Guerrero and then on the back it says all the ingredients and um, pretty much how much you get this palette is vegan and cruelty free and with each highlighter you get 0.16 ounces and then you open it up it says Anastasia Beverly Hills right here and then these are the colors I did dip my finger into it each one and swatch it a little bit I just could not wait I had to you know test it out in my defense it wasn't like a full swatch it was just like barely dabbing it because I didn't want to like mess it up or anything because I knew I wanted to do this review and another thing excuse my voice if it sounds like very raspy I've been really sick so I'm really surprised that I'm able to like sit down and like feel better because these last couple days have been so hard but um back to the palette um there are six different shades which I feel are perfect for different skin types fair skin tones deeper skin tones I really feel like when I look at this palette I feel like I don't have anything else in my collection that looks like this and today I do not have highlighter at all I didn't need, like I have a full matte look um except I have a glossy lip but that doesn't count um my eyes are all matte my cheekbones there's nothing no highlighter on and if you guys want to see a tutorial on this look I did film it so just let me know um but yeah let's go ahead and get into each color I'm going to go ahead and start with Kitty Cat. So I'm just going to swirl it. So I'm not doing like a super heavy swatch so you guys really get an idea of what it looks like. So this is Kitty Cat. Beautiful, beautiful color. A little bit does go a super long way. Um, I personally, how I like to do my swatches is just one swirl around and then swatch it. Not like digging my finger in the whole pan and like wasting all the product because realistically, that's to me, that's not a realistic swatch. Like, you're not going to use your entire highlighter in one like try I guess you could say so I feel like when they're constantly rubbing in the pan like that's to me that's not a realistic swatch so uh, but again this is what kitty cat looks like and I'm gonna wipe my fingers off on a baby wipe and wipe them off on a towel so they're not wet and mess up my palette the next shade is forever young Again, I'm just going to swirl, and then, ooh, that one looks so nice. Oh, wow. 
look at that one. So this is Kitty Cat and that's Forever Young. That is beautiful. And when I apply them, they feel so creamy and smooth and they're not crumbling and they're not like chunky either which I really like and it's not like a super glittery it kind of has like iridescence to it so it's really gonna look nice on the cheekbones and now for daydream and then just wow that one is beautiful I personally with like my skin tone with how fair I am I will not be able to use that as a highlighter at all whatsoever like I hardly ever get tan so that shade I probably will not ever use but for an eyeshadow I'm totally gonna be using that that's perfect for spring next is forever lit oh wow look at that oh that's some pigment wow that was a big swatch <laughs> but look at that that is so beautiful I'd have to say out of all the ones that I've swatched that one I think is like the creamiest and I thought the other three were creamy like this one just wow and how it reflects like I think I'm gonna apply that one to my cheekbones next we have glow getter Ooh. That one's definitely a gold. So that one's right here. Beautiful color. I feel like the bottom row is like super pigmented, like even more than the top row. I feel like those two were super, super buttery. I really do like it. I feel like these two are my favorite so far. Um, actually, I don't know because... I like all of these colors, but realistically what I will wear is probably these four and then these two whereas eyeshadows. Let me go ahead and swatch one, four, three. Oh, that is super, super bronzy and pretty. Um, this one, I'll just I'm just gonna have to swatch it like back here next to Kitty Cat because I did not have room in the front. So this is one, four, three. It's very beautiful, but again, I think a little too deep for my skin tone. So that'll be perfect for someone of deeper skin tone or um, in the summer when everyone's getting a tan. I think Nicole did a great job at choosing the colors in this palette because these colors aren't found in every single highlighter palette so I think she did a great job there I love the names and then kitty cat forever young daydream forever lit glow getter and 143 I feel like that's really her and yeah so I think Anastasia and Nicole killed it just from the swatches alone the packaging and like the colors so now let's go ahead and get to the highlighter application so I have a couple brushes here so it's not like mixing um, so I'm not mixing highlighters I'm actually gonna apply one highlight in different areas of my face to really you know see how it looks so I think I want to do kitty cat on this side so let me go ahead and dip my brush dust off the excess and then just apply and I'm not spraying any MAC Fix Plus or any spray this is you know the highlighter in its natural form is the camera picking this up because that is beautiful oh my goodness I might have to buy a backup because this is beautiful Wow and that was just with me going in and then applying it granted I'm like blending it out now but that looks so pretty Wow and even though it is like a pinky peachy shade you can't really like see it like you can tell it has some pink iridescence to it but it's not like well, bam like pink like the swatch 
it's not like that it's like I feel like a more subtle way but it's still beautiful um, on this side um, and the reason I'm doing like on different sides of my face is because I feel like once you put on your makeup once you have like everything done which I do and then you apply it that's how you can really and with a brush that's how you can really see if a highlighter is worth it or not so me just swatching out of my hand like I feel like that can easily misguide someone to purchasing something that doesn't really work but as of just swatching that one with the brush onto my face I feel like that this palette is really great now with another clean brush I'm going to go ahead and go on to this side and use Forever Young. And again, very lightly going in and dusting off the excess. And then just... Ooh. Wow. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Now I really don't know which one's my favorite. Oh, wow. Just blending it out. That looks beautiful. I don't know which one I like more. That is so, so nice. Again, it blends out very nicely. I feel like it's not accentuating my pores. Like, it's not making them look super visible. Again, my pores aren't that bad. Um, but it's not, like, accentuating anything. Because usually when you apply highlighter, that's when everything starts poking out. And that's beautiful. Okay, so Kitty Cat and Forever Young are definitely so beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and... I'm not going to use Daydream yet. I'm actually going to go ahead in with Forever Lit and Glow Getter. And then Daydream and 143 I'll use towards the end. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use Forever Lit on, my, on the tip of my nose and down the bridge of my nose. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. Um, wow. getting my beauty blender or my real technique sponge because that was very intense um wow um so yeah there's glow getter um I look like Rudolph with like a, um <laughs> oh my goodness I'm actually gonna go ahead and put powder over my nose because it is so bright like I know the camera's picking it up, but it's even brighter in person. So I'm just going to try and get my nose to calm down because that highlight is a little too much. And I like highlight on my nose. Then this one's just like, bing! And now I'm going to get Glow Getter. Tap it and... Ooh! Ooh! The clean side of it. Oh wow. Anastasia and Nicole were not playing when they said this was going to be a highlighting palette. Like, this really does highlight and it works so, so good. It's probably one of the best palettes on the market right now. Wow. Like, do you see? Do you see this? Wow, like my forehead right here and right here. Oh my goodness, they're so highlighted. I'm very glowy, especially this nose and mine. <laughs> okay, so we've used these four colors. Now for these two, um, I'm honestly scared to use a Daydream, but I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to use it on my Cupid's bow. Um, I feel like that'll be like the 
best place to put it, I guess. So another clean brush. Just gonna ah dip it in there, dust all that off, and then just go in and apply it on my cupid's bow. Hmm. Going in a second time. Okay, that highlight really isn't that bad. Um, you can start seeing that it is orangey, but let me go on a third time and really um, try and see if it'll pop. Okay, now you can really see it. You can tell like all right here is really orange or starting to get. I would say this one is, I don't know if it's the brush or because I really dusted it almost all off when I applied it, but Daydream is the one where I did go in the most, where I did go in the most to get like the same amount of highlight. I don't know if it's because of the orange in it that um, caused that to happen, but it is really pretty. I feel like if you're going to like a festival or you're just into pops of color like that or again have a deeper skin tone that color will look great on you and lastly is one four three this one i'm also scared to use but i'm gonna go ahead and do it and i'm gonna use another clean brush and i'm just gonna apply it onto my chin very lightly so have a little bit of product because of the type of brush, I did go in twice, and then just, ooh. Oh my goodness. Do you see how shiny this chin is? Oh my goodness. And not shiny in a bad way, like glowy. Oh wow. I think, you know what? I think I might actually use all these colors now that I see this applied onto the skin. When you see someone swatch things, like, I feel like that's the misconception. That's why I really wanted to try everything onto my face because, you know, some of these colors were not for me. Like, they were too dark. And I pretty much love them all. This one I'll use definitely as an eyeshadow, but pretty much the rest of them, all five of them, I will be using 143 I thought would be too dark for me but look at how pretty it looks on my chin let me go ahead and intensify that a little bit like that's a beautiful highlight like even though it is it, it'll be great for darker skin tones I feel like I'm very fair fair to medium and I think it looks really nice on me. That's why I wanted to do each one in a different spot on my face. So you guys could really see how pretty these highlighters work. I think they're a very creamy formula. They're very smooth. Um, extremely pigmented as you can see. The shine isn't chunky. It's not... Um, like when you apply it, it doesn't like want to crumble. Um, it's very smooth. It looks beautiful. Um, let me apply a little more of Forever Lit because I did kind of get scared of it and cover it up. So again, with another clean brush and just... Wow. Wow. And this one does have a bit of iridescence to like, it does have like blue, purpley, lilac-y tones, which I really like. Which I think is really pretty. And if you're looking for a glow, I mean, look at this. You got it. 
I feel like all these colors look beautiful. Um, they are chunky, they're really pretty, and they're smooth. Uh, they really did do a great job with making a palette that really can suit all sorts of skin types. I don't think I've ever really seen a highlighter palette have so many colors that are so, you know, out there but can, you know, really go with everyone. And this is such a unique palette. Um, if you see it at your local Sephora or you see it go up online for sale, I definitely grab it and especially if you're a collector of these Anastasia highlighter palettes this is actually my first one um all the other ones sold out before like I wanted them but then it was like uh and then they all sold out so it was like oh I never got my hands on it so I'm super happy I was able to get my hands on this one Cre congratulations to Nicole Guerrero you killed it once again this palette is absolutely amazing and let me know what you guys think of it are you guys gonna pick it up did you guys like the tones in this palette did you guys like uh, the colors that she picked out. I personally think they are beautiful. This is a great palette and I think it's perfect for spring. Like the colors and everything, it's like leading up to spring and I mean it launched in March so I mean we're pretty much in spring and perfect way to kick it off. Like I said, if you get a chance, I'd definitely pick it up. Again, it is $40. It's sold online and in Sephora in the next weeks to come. I'm not exactly sure when and it's also going to be sold on Anastasia Beverly Hills website as well. So yeah, this wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this review on this palette and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!